Hey everybody, it's Post Games here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 here with the Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica. We last left off, all of our allies are finally at peace. We conquered a little bit of Italy, which just reminded me we might as well actually switch our Chancellor since he's kind of just been chilling on the wrong territory. Let us quickly do that while it's on my mind. We've got Jejeur Duchies. Rome's already ours. Do we have anything else? We should start trying to take take Medina or maybe Spoleto? Well, I think I think we have claims on Spoleto because we have a claim, I think here, which is this guy's claim, which I'm kind of iffy to really press because if we take Rome at some point, which we're kind of trying to load up to, because we've got our non-aggression pacts with both England and Germany, so if we can get one with France someday, within the next generation or something, we've got the major three. And if we can actually get them to ally with us, I'm sorry, the Pope, but you're you're gone, okay? Easy, easy dub. Easy dub, okay? But that will make him incredibly powerful because Rome is just, it's so powerful. It's got seven built, like seven, whatever the hell these are called, in it. Okay, that's a lot of, sh that's a lot of stuff. So, I don't know if I want to give that to him. But we need to move our Chancellor into something. Uh, do we take... I think so, yeah. Because I kind of wanted to move towards Southern Italy here. Because there's... Uh, Longobardia and... What, what are you called? Benevento are both here to call, help. And Almafi. Well, Almafi is kind of can be dangerous because they usually have an absolute ton of money so they can buy just whatever they want actually but let me let me see here where's italy people states these are just your kingdoms so Actually, you know, I want empires. This is Italy. So maybe, actually, maybe we should focus on forming the kingdom of... We could form the Papal States pretty quickly. We could get whatever the equivalents of this title. I, I don't know if we can claim it. I don't really know how that kingdom title will work. Well, if we get this territory here and this territory here, we own a majority of it. So maybe since this guy is independent and he won't take our vassalization, we claim his ass. Easy peasy. Death to baloney. I think that's that's how you spell baloney, right? It is baloney. Yes. Like the meat. Let's start the time, get this time going. But yes, we are still being uh attempted to be murdered by our son in law, the king of Serbia, even though he likes us. Uh he likes me. I absolutely hate his guts. Oh we actually prisoners. The Queen Mother of Italy, well, I'm going to keep her because uh, screw that person. But we are going to ransom all of these people here. And we have the Queen of Italy too, uh, which we are definitely going to keep. Definitely 100%. So why won't you take ransom? Well, let's just release these people. Uh, who are you? 
Who are you related to? My steward. Why why are you in prison? Did you try to kill somebody or something? I'm a little confused on why you're in Oh, you've been in prison for 25 years? There's probably a reason for it. I might not remember, but there's definitely a reason for it. There we go. We keep the Queen Mother and the Queen of Italy because screw Italy. Do I take myself out of hiding? Because it does reduce my... What, prestige? Ooh, minus two prestige. But I'm still making prestige, apparently. Don't know how. But I'm... St I think I am. Let 2837. 2837, I need to remember that number. I need to remember that number to see if it continues to go up. How good's my regent? My regent is way better than I am. So it is currently advantageous to keep my regent. Especially since I don't think there's anybody I really need to be marrying off. Of course, there is like extended family. But I think, I think I've got enough of my family in positions of power that they can kind of continue the family line without me nitpicking all that stuff but yes Rome, I know I have a de jure claim on Rome I want to take Rome over at some point but right now France is kind of a problem France is a little bit of a problem and their political concerns won't let me create peace with them so yeah that's how this game wants to be. All I want is peace. Oh, it would be so good. Just to be able to conquer Rome. I'll feel like... I'll feel like it's the old days. Because this will be, the, what, the first time Rome's been conquered since... Before Charlemagne. Would be if I took it over. Be great. Oh, uh, we want to do upgrades. All I think all of our upgrades are fairly expensive. I guess we'll take stables here. Because it's our, it's our cheapest. All of them, I think, are... Other than stables here, I think they're all in, like, 400 wealth. Actually, there's stables in these two territories here. And I forget about Corsica. Uh, they already have theirs. Okay. So once we get those, then we go on to the having to save up lots and lots and lots of money. But we're making we're making decent cash money, also. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually been disappointed in having a son in this game. Typically, I'm always like gung ho about having a son. But in this in this situation, I kind of wanted her to be my heir as if she was my heir she is a matrilineal marriage to this man who's the king of Serbia and their daughter would take over as both king of queen of Serbia and queen of Sardinia and we would just we just merge we just absorb all of this land it would be great but of course it's not going to happen anymore which is sad but we still will have our family on this as long as they don't screw it up by getting her married in a non-matrilineal marriage and this is the duke of paris i guess yes since we already had you betrothed i wish i wish he was the duke of paris wait is the duke of paris He's not. Shoot. I thought he might have been the heir, but he's not. Oh, I guess we're going to have to wait for somebody else to be born before we can get our at least a non-aggression pact with France. I want an alliance with a, at le probably either Germany or France. England, maybe. 
But if I'm going to have to choose one of the three, only one, I want Germany or France to help us against Rome. Or, I guess, the Pope. To take Rome, because it's just, it's just so good. Also, it would be, it would be Mimi as hell for this religion, just tiny little religion, to just take over the home of Catholicism. I think that's funny. I don't know if anyone else does, but I definitely think so. Might as well try to switch Florence over, since I keep forgetting that every territory we take, I need to convert. Ooh, is there... Is France fighting Germany? No, France is fighting the Umeids with Germany. So it's Germany versus... France and Germany are working together. So, oh, sh yeah, this is this is quite important as Leon is officially gone. This guy's pretty much the last big Catholic member of this nation here in Iberia, but he's got he's got a whole bunch of land. That is a powerful powerful sultan. But yeah, pretty much Iberia's I Iberia's gone at this point. Unless France and Germany can do something, especially France. France is very important in taking down this giant blob right here. This big blob needs to be getting gotten rid of because they will just turn around and just start taking over Africa and I kind of care because I, I, I do I am only two sea tiles away from them so I do have reason to care about the success or destruction of of a giant empire, uh, definitely. Wait, is is Venice at war with Italy? And Italy's winning though, so I don't, I don't really know. Is Venice like super bankrupt or something? Yes, that's the problem. They are low on money. Pretty much if a if any kind of merchant republic gets low on money during a war, they're they're screwed. They're done. Goodbye, have fun. Good knowing ya. One problem I do have with France if France decides to take a bunch of Iberia is they're slowly surrounding me. And I'm not a big fan of a big lumbering France. Big blue, big blue blob, ugh. big blue blob is not a fun idea. We need 60, 50 some left until we can get stables there. We can continue to make the army slightly bigger at a periodically. Crusader kings, Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and, and the routes are not safe. In order to protect the pilgrims and sir secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope Stephanius the Eighth has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. The signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars and crusades. Finally. Finally, the series has a actually has a reason for its name. We are officially in the era of Crusader Kings. Of course, this does not impact me at all, as I am the leader of my own religion. I don't even know if my patron can I even call Crusades? Is that even a thing? I don't believe so. It's not like anyone could join me, because I'm the only one of our religion. 
but we will find out whether or not the which which religion really dominates the world Christianity or Islam because it's going to be one of the two it's always one of the two uh, of course until iconoclast becomes the the great the great religion of the world which it yeah, I guess it is Christian uh, if we're gonna compare if I'm gonna group them all together however I'm gonna leave things all off here thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode if you guys enjoy drop a like down below drop a comment whatever you want to say and if you want to do yourself a favor and me a favor turn that little red subscribe button down below into a gray subscribe button and lastly if you want to join my discord it's in my youtube about section three clicks and you can join and you guys have a really good rest of your day